Have you ever wondered why so many people who take statins for cholesterol end up developing heart problems later on, even though statins are supposed to protect the heart? Well, here's the shocking truth. Statins may lower your cholesterol, but they also quietly deplete one of the most powerful heart protective nutrients in your body, vitamin K2. And that single deficiency could be the real reason why so many statin users still develop hardened arteries, calcified blood vessels, and even heart failure despite having perfect cholesterol numbers on paper. Statins don't just rob your body of vitamin K2, they also drain other critical nutrients that your heart and muscles desperately need to stay healthy. And today, we're going to break it all down. The real reason statins deplete vitamin K2 and other essential nutrients, how this damages your heart over time, and most importantly, what you can do to protect yourself naturally. So, if you or someone you love is currently taking statins, you absolutely need to hear this. But before we dive in, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps this video reach more people who need this information and could truly benefit from it. All right, let's get started. Let's start from the beginning. Statins were designed to lower cholesterol, specifically LDL, the so-called bad cholesterol. They do this by blocking an enzyme in your liver called HMG-CoA reductase, which is responsible for producing cholesterol. So, in theory, less cholesterol means less plaque buildup and therefore less heart disease. But here's where things get interesting and disturbing. That same enzyme, HMG-CoA reductase, is also responsible for producing several other essential compounds in your body, not just cholesterol. This includes coenzyme Q10, CoQ10, Dolichol, and vitamin K2-dependent proteins that help keep your arteries flexible and your heart muscle strong. So when statins block this pathway, it doesn't just lower cholesterol, it also triggers a domino effect of nutrient deficiencies that can actually weaken your heart over time. And this isn't just theory. Research has consistently shown these side effects in real life. For instance, a study published in the American Journal of Cardiology found that statin therapy significantly reduces blood levels of CoQ10, a compound essential for energy production in the heart muscle. Without enough CoQ10, the heart becomes weaker and more prone to fatigue. Another study in the journal Atherosclerosis revealed that statins inhibit the activation of matrix GLA protein, a vitamin K2-dependent protein that prevents calcium from building up in arteries. This means that long-term statin use can actually accelerate vascular calcification, the very thing we're trying to avoid. The Overlooked Role of Vitamin K2 in Heart Health If you've been following this channel for a while, chances are you already know what vitamin K2 is, one of the most overlooked but powerful nutrients for your heart. Vitamin K2's job is simple but life-saving. It directs calcium to where it belongs, your bones and teeth, and keeps it away from where it doesn't belong, your arteries and heart valves. Your body relies on two special proteins to do this, matrix GLA protein and osteocalcin. But here's the catch. These proteins can only do their job when they're activated by vitamin K2. Without enough K2, these proteins remain inactive, allowing calcium to pile up in your arteries instead of strengthening your bones. Over time, that leads to arterial calcification, stiff blood vessels, and an increased risk of heart disease, even if your cholesterol levels look normal. And there's plenty of science to back this up. A landmark 10-year study known as the Rotterdam Study, published in the Journal of Nutrition, found that people with the highest intake of vitamin K2 had 52% lower risk of severe arterial calcification and 57% lower risk of dying from heart disease compared to those with the lowest intake. Another study in the journal Thrombosis and Hemostasis showed that vitamin K2 supplementation reduces inactive MGP levels, which means less calcium ends up deposited in the arteries. And a 2020 review in Frontiers in Cardiovascular Medicine concluded that vitamin K2 plays a crucial role in preventing and even reversing early vascular calcification, especially in those taking medications like statins that interfere with K2 metabolism. How Statins Block Vitamin K2 Statins don't directly destroy vitamin K2, instead they disrupt the metabolic chain your body uses to produce the active form of vitamin K2. When statins block the mevalinate pathway, the same one used to make cholesterol, they also reduce the production of an essential compound called menaquinone, which is a key form of vitamin K2. In simple terms, the same pathway that creates cholesterol also plays a role in maintaining healthy vitamin K2 activity in your tissues. So, when you interrupt it, you're cutting off one of your body's main defenses against calcium buildup in the arteries. What other nutrients can statins potentially deplete? 
1. Coenzyme Q10. This is perhaps the most well-documented nutrient depletion caused by statins. Your body naturally produces CoQ10 through the same HMG-CoA reductase pathway that statins block. So, when this pathway is shut down, CoQ10 levels drop significantly. CoQ10 is essential for producing energy inside your cells, especially in your heart muscle, which requires huge amounts of energy to pump blood non-stop. A study published in the American Journal of Cardiology found that statin therapy can lower blood CoQ10 levels by up to 40% within just a few weeks, and another study from Biofactors confirmed that this depletion correlates strongly with muscle weakness and fatigue. Common complaints among statin users. Low CoQ10 means your heart cells literally run out of fuel, which may increase the risk of heart failure, particularly in older adults. That's why many cardiologists now recommend supplementing with 100 to 200 milligrams of CoQ10 or its active form, ubiquinol, especially for those on long-term statin therapy. 2. Selenium. Statins may also interfere with selenium-containing enzymes, especially glutathione peroxidase, which helps protect your heart and muscles from oxidative stress. A study published in Biochemica et Biophysica Acta highlighted that selenium deficiency can contribute to statin-induced myopathy the muscle pain, and weakness some people experience. Selenium is also crucial for thyroid health, energy metabolism, and preventing oxidative damage to the heart. Without enough of it, your cells become more vulnerable to damage, especially when CoQ10 is also low. 3. Zinc and Iron While the evidence is less conclusive, some research suggests that long-term statin use may alter the absorption or utilization of zinc and iron, Two minerals essential for oxygen transport and immune defense. A 2020 study in drug design, development and therapy noted that statins can slightly reduce plasma zinc levels, possibly contributing to impaired testosterone production and fatigue. Zinc and iron deficiencies can compound muscle weakness and slow recovery, which is why many experts recommend regular blood testing for anyone on prolonged statin therapy. How to protect your heart if you're on statins. Now I'm not telling you to stop taking your statins, that's a decision only you and your doctor can make, but there are smart ways to protect yourself from their side effects. 1. Replenish vitamin K2, especially MK7. The MK7 form of vitamin K2, found in fermented foods like natto, aged cheese, and sauerkraut, stays active in the body longer and is excellent for preventing calcium buildup. Supplementing with MK7, around 100 DOC or 200 MCG daily, may help counteract K2 depletion from statins, but always check with your healthcare provider first, especially if you're on blood thinners. 2. Add CoQ10. Since statins deplete CoQ10, supplementing with 100 to 200 milligrams of CoQ10 or ubiquinol can restore energy levels and support heart function. 3. Boost your magnesium and vitamin D3 levels. These nutrients work in synergy with K2, magnesium helps activate vitamin D, and vitamin D increases the production of K2-dependent proteins, forming a trio that keeps calcium in perfect balance. 4. Eat real, whole foods. Include K2-rich foods like pasture-raised eggs, butter, and grass-fed meats. Avoid processed vegetable oils and refined carbs, which promote inflammation and further damage your arteries. The truth is, Statins were never meant to be the final solution to heart disease. They treat a symptom, high cholesterol, but ignore the real root causes, nutrient depletion, chronic inflammation, and mineral imbalance. So, the next time you hear someone say, my cholesterol is great, thanks to statins, remember, cholesterol is not the enemy. What really matters is whether your arteries are soft, flexible, and calcium-free, and that depends largely on vitamin K2. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who's currently taking statins. This information could truly protect their heart. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.